Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. This is episode number seven in the Ecto Basics series. So if you're not familiar, you might want to check out the rest of the series. Today, we're going to go over setting up .iex.exs for Ecto. This is basically to save some time. What we've been doing up until now each episode of the series is we've been running this uh, just setup script that puts a bunch of data in the database and has gone through some of the things that we've covered in the series. But obviously, we don't want to keep adding this every single episode. So what I've been doing up until now has been mix ecto.drop to drop the entire database, then mix ecto.create to make a new database, then mix ecto.migrate to run all of these migrations. And then we've either been copying and pasting the code from IEX. So basically start up IEX and then copy all of this and then paste it into IEX. Or we've been starting up IEX and then from inside IEX, we've been running import file and then the location of this script to just run it all from IEX. We could also do, I uh, from the command line, even before we get into IEX, we could do IEX-S. Then instead of just mix, we could do mix run and then set up our uh, example queries.exs. And that runs them all, populates the stuff we need in our database. Um, these warnings are fine because we we don't necessarily um, have to have already included that. We've still got access to those aliases. So maybe I, if I do want to do something with tag, I just do repo dot all tag, then there won't be any in the database yet because it's, oh, repo is not defined. Alias linkly dot repo. Oh, right. We didn't. So uh, running it from the command line, we'd actually still have to copy paste these. And then, then we can do repo dot all tag or whatever. But instead of doing this every single episode, there's actually a much better way to do it. What we can do is we can create a new file called dot exs or dot iex dot exs. And then in that new file, we can copy exactly this stuff that we want to use every single time we start up IEX. So we're going to import Ecto query so we can do that, uh, you know, from you and users where user.id equals two. So like user, we can like write queries like that in this really convenient macro syntax. And once we've added change sets, once we've covered that in a series, we're also going to want to import ecto.change set. So I'll just put that in here right now. And we want to alias all the things that we're frequently going to be using. So basically that means every single schema you've got, you probably want to alias. You, If you're in a Phoenix project, you probably want to alias the context functions. And if you're in the repo, or if you're doing anything with Ecto, you're going to want your repo. Um, the other thing is, so I just said context functions. You're going to want to alias your context modules, not every single function in them. That would be just like importing the entire thing. So we'll put these in here now. And now just starting up IEX will automatically have all of that. So we won't have any reason to delete the whole database and you know, like build everything up from nothing every time anymore. So from now on, we can just do IEX dash S mix. And you'll see type bookmark and it's already aliased and same thing with repo. So we can just do repo dot uh, get bookmark two. And there we go. This will save a lot of time. I highly suggest you do this for the rest of this series. We'll be using this IEX at EXS file, and I'll just have everything aliased from the beginning of each episode.
Hope you found this useful. If so, follow me on YouTube and I will see you later.